Welcome back, everybody, to the channel. Today, we're going to be breaking down uh, Steelers linebacker Mark Robinson entering his second season. Going to be going over some of his plays from his uh, rookie year. Going to show you guys, you know, what I thought he did well. And and then an uh, area of his game that I think he really needs to improve on in order to carve out some more playing time in 2023. Uh, Y'all know what it is. Just before we get started, please make sure that you like the video. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Drop me a comment, all that stuff. It is greatly appreciated on my end. So, First off, I want to go over some positive plays for Mark Robinson uh, that I think really detail, you know, what he does um, and what he brings to the Steelers defense. So the Steelers, they overhauled their linebacker room. Robinson's really one of the last guys standing, if not the last guy. So um, here was his first game against the Carolina Panthers. They're going to be running outside zone to the weak side. They've got an offensive lineman in the backfield here as the lead blocker. And you'll see. Robinson here just absolutely decleat this dude and take him off of his feet, attacks that blocker with physicality. That's kind of his game. He is that old school, you know, thumper type of linebacker who really likes to hit. He's physical. He's violent. Um, kind of one of those throwback Steeler linebackers. And I think that's what has a lot of fans really excited uh, because of how well he, you know, played the run in some um, limited action last year. Um the next game that we really saw a lot of him uh, was the Ravens game. So the Ravens run a lot of power. He actually had back-to-back -back stops on the Ravens' first two run plays. Here the Ravens are going to be pulling uh, the guard and the tackle. But Robinson's actually responsible for the quarterback because they kind of get this fly motion, which takes T.J. Watt out of the run fit. So what he's doing right here, he's just making sure that, I guess this is Anthony Brown or uh, – Tyler Hundley, whoever that is, whichever uh, Ravens backup that is, uh, doesn't keep this ball, but watch him, you know, quickly recognize. You see the vision and then just absolutely drops J.K. Dobbins. You know, if he doesn't make this tackle, that's a pretty big play, uh, but a really nice one on one stop there. Um, here's another example. The Steelers are playing a little bit of, a, I guess, a four, four, three front. Uh, same exact play, literally. Um down to the, the bones of it, really. Uh, the Ravens are going to kind of run Patrick Ricard over to the right side of the screen and going to pull the guard and tackle. What I really like here with Robinson is watch him reduce his surface area here. You see him get low, get square, and kind of drop his shoulder underneath this lineman who's trying to wrap around and grab him at the second level. Makes a really good stop again at the or in the hole um, at the line of scrimmage. So um, a couple of really nice plays. You know, one of the things about Robinson that I really liked uh, from this preseason tape and just what the little we saw in the regular season, a lot of the tackles he was making, you know, because he plays so fast downhill, um, a lot of his plays were near the line of scrimmage. You know, th these tackles aren't coming, you know, five, six, seven yards down the field. And I like that a lot. So um, another play here with him kind of scraping over the top. The Steelers have all the gaps uh, kind of accounted for on the right side of the screen. Uh, just really like, again, staying square, being really patient, good eyes, and keeping his outside shoulder kind of clear here. And then quickly jumping outside makes a tackle in open space on Gus Edwards. So that's three stops right there um, in the run game. Uh, so so there was there was definitely some good stuff um, in this in this Ravens game from, from Mark Robinson. Um, but now I kind of want to get into one of the things I think could potentially – kind of preclude him from getting more playing time next season. Um, and that's his tackling. Uh, his tackling was a bit of an issue really throughout last season, you know, in limited action, of course, but throughout the preseason and in the regular season, uh, he makes a really good read here. He's really fast to the hole. Um, Patrick Ricard ends up kind of taking out TJ Watt. Um, and there's a little bit of, you know, congestion right here, but he elects to kind of go over the top, you know, ducks his head, a little bit of an arm tackle, doesn't doesn't really finish on Dobbins. Dobbins is able to kind of shrug him off pretty easily and then get, you know, six yards and a successful run play. Um, and this really, really hurt the Steelers in the Browns game uh, in, in the regular season finale. And here's a rep of him in coverage. You know, he's dropping back into space. Uh, the Steelers pass rush gets Watson a little uh, – a little jumpy in the pocket, uh, forces a check down. And, you know, this is kind of what zone defenses want to do, right? You want to force the ball underneath and then come up and rally to tackle. 
Um, Robinson's in good position here. Watson gets a little happy feet, dumps the ball down. This is an area of the game where you just you have to wrap this guy up, you know, and he kind of stumbles, loses his feet a little bit, I think. And then we, you know, end up with a five yard dump off pass that ends up turning into an explosive play. And that's that kind of stuff right there is going to drive coaches absolutely mad. So um, and then here was another kind of big play in the game. Steelers ended up missing or winning this one, but um, you know, this was a kind of a little bit of a mental error, in my opinion, uh, that ends up getting compounded with a missed tackle. So the Steelers are blitzing here. They're going to bring five up front. Uh, Mark Robinson's actually going to be kind of responsible for the tailback here. Watson's going to run a little play action, fake it to the back. You see Robinson's eyes are going straight to the running back with him responsible for him in coverage. And, you know, when he stays in the block, he ends up thinking that he's got, you know, kind of the free round, the free reign to, you know, blitz the quarterback right up the middle. He sees that gap, shoots it. If you're going to do this, you absolutely have to get this quarterback on the ground. This is a risk type of move. He misses the tackle. And then we get another dump off for another first down. So just to kind of run that one back, I believe the Steelers are playing. Um, I'm not sure if this is man or cover three. We got single high here. Um, but again, if, if he's going to blitz, this is definitely a risk. You would like him to at least take a track to where he can see the back if he does chip and release. Um, but again, you know, it, all of that doesn't really matter if he's able to get Watson on the ground right here. Uh, but another big uh, missed tackle leads to a pretty explosive play from the Cleveland offense. And like I said, I think you look at the numbers. Uh, the left side of the screen is from the preseason. The right side of the screen is from the regular season. So he played 111 snaps in the preseason, nine tackles, but four of those were misses. Um, and then the regular season, that kind of continued in a smaller amount of playing time, three three solo tackles and three missed tackles as well. So, um, you know, missed tackles were a little bit of an issue when I watched uh, Robinson's final year at Ole Miss. I think he had an 11 point something missed tackle percentage rate, according to Pro Football Focus. So not terrible, not anything that's a huge red flag. But, um, you know, just to go back to the Browns game, after he missed that tackle on Watson in the backfield, he only played one more snap the rest of the afternoon. They just yanked him. They elected to play Miles Jack, Devin Bush, because, you know, when you're a seventh round rookie and you are really in the game to stop the run, to make plays going downhill, you just don't have the same type of leeway or leash that some of the veteran guys do, whether that's right or wrong. You know, you guys can, you know, think for yourselves on that one. But I think that, um, you know, Robinson, he's going to be put in the game in early down situations where you're expecting to run. And this is kind of where he needs to make his mark. But in order for him to stay on the field, he's got to clean up some of these uh, kind of wild swings and misses um, as a tackler. So I appreciate you guys tapping in with me again. Let me know what you guys think of Mark Robinson. Do y'all think he can crack the rotation? Uh, Steelers linebacker room's kind of, you know, up in uh, up in flames a little bit. I mean, they've completely uh kind of redid that entire room cole holcomb alandon roberts let me know what you guys think if he can push for more playing time let me know what you guys thought of the video again drop me a like drop me a comment make sure you sub to the channel turn those notifications on and i will check you guys next time peace